Hello and good evening. This is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and today I want to explain why you get errors when you're trying to change uh, a column to a date, to a date uh, field type and also a way to fix the problem. So let's begin. Okay, so here I have a file I downloaded from the Power BI community and if I go to edit queries and here dates, uh, as you can see I have a date column here that is being formatted as date so Power BI and Power Query recognize that, so no problem but I have also here another date that has not been formatted as date so if we want to do that we will get an error and the question is why? I mean, I, I have had this problem so many times, either from files I download or from sources I get from somebody else from other countries. So to understand why this happens, and I think it's important because then you understand why you're getting the error and how to fix it. If I go here into file options and settings and into original settings, I can see that the person that created this file had a um, regional setting of New Zealand. So how does dates look in New Zealand? Let's look at that. So here we are in Wikipedia and we have um, date formats by country. So here it will tell us uh, what date formats each country is using. Let's search by New Zealand. Zealand. And it says yes in here, which is date, month, year. Okay. So let's go back to Power BI. And here we have our column date. So let's see what Power BI is doing. So we know that Power BI thinks that the original settings are New Zealand. So it is expecting a date in this form, day, month, and year. We saw that on Wikipedia. Our date column looks like this, which is basically year 2012, January 1st. But because Power BI thinks that we're in New Zealand, it's reading day, month, year. So it's reading day 20, month 12, and year 0101. There, there is no such year, so it gives us an error. So now you know why it's actually trying to fit a format that doesn't fit with the actual date. So what do you do? Let's go back to Power BI. Okay, so we're going to do a little experiment. I have three columns that I have imported from a Excel file. Let's do so. And I have a day, month, year format date. I have a year, month, day format. And I have a month, day, year format. You can see it down there. Okay. I have a regional settings. I always have as regional settings the United States for different reasons. Uh, but you can check what regional settings you have. Uh, you could have Swedish or uh, whatever you are, right? So this is the ones I have anyhow. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this to date. And as you can see, um, one of those uh, columns gave us an error. So what we need to do is to try to find which uh, regional setting this needs to be in order to not get an error. We're going to go up, we're going to select just the first column so you don't change the type for all of them. And then here you can go to change type and then using and then insert step because we back one it, it takes a little bit to load uh, because you see it's like a thousand countries in here it would have been so much useful if they had the data format here instead of the country the country is quite irrelevant just for, for this exercise 
we are going to pick the first one on the list and that is uh, day, month, year, exactly the format that we will have there. So as you see, it now it gets it, okay, that's a date and then all the three of them will be set as dates. You can do that for individual columns. We could change, for example, if we go up here, we can say we know that that one is that is a typical format for Swedish date, so we can change that. There we have it. Date. Uh, should we? There you have it. So, as you can see, you can have different regional settings for different columns. That is not, I don't think, at least a, a common case, but it could happen. And then you have the three dates probably for properly formatted. Of course, you can always go and separate and put them in order, and but it takes so many steps into Power Query that are so unnecessary. So this is a way to don't do any changes on the source. That's not a good thing because you might use it for something else and give you problems there. Your source is like it is, and this is a way to bring it in and adjust as you need for just that particular column. So hopefully with this trick, you won't have any more issues with dates. You will have issues, but you know how to solve them. Great. Okay, this is all for today. I hope you enjoy this uh, useful, really useful trick. Um, if you like the video, please let me know by liking it. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, uh, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, please subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.